Hello again. See, they hit you with the sign this time again. And I'm back here again at the Gearhead Workshop Workbench. And uh, what we got on the bench here is going to be our um, kit we're going to try and turn into the uh, Red October from the uh, movie Hunt for Red October. Which hopefully we're not biting off more than we can chew here. <laughs> The, uh, we're just going to kind of go through the kit real quick, open her up and kind of look at what's in here and get that out of the way real quick. And of course we get our instructions, and this is a 1350 scale hobby boss kit of the Russian Navy Typhoon class sub. And, you know, you got your basic instructions here, there's not many steps to it, um, you got one... One through eleven, so we only got really eleven steps to basically build this up. So we get them out the way, and uh, they give you they give you a color guide here, and uh, I guess maybe it's uh, maybe decal placement. I'm not sure, but uh, we're not doing that. Uh, you know, the whole deal is to try and do a tribute to Red October, so we're going to try and do what we can to make it look like Red October. So we're going to be going probably with a uh, medium gray or a uh, gray primer on the top half of the hole and the bottom will probably go uh, probably granite gray like a lighter gray uh, I've got some good there's some good reference pictures on uh, Modeler's Miniatures of Magic or Modeler Magic whichever they go by now and uh, we're just gonna kinda go by those and so far it looks like it's you know like a two-tone gray and uh, there's definitely going to have to be some mods made to this kit, but uh, we got our upper hole here, which, uh, I'm pulling out the bag real quick. It's looking pretty good. Uh, lots of detail that, that may end up going, really. Uh, it's, uh, from what I can tell, the studio model of Red October, the hole looks pretty smooth. It's in the pictures, you can't really see any of the tiling that they've got molded on for the regular Russian version here, so... We may either sand all that off or uh, skim it with uh, putty and, and try and get rid of that. We'll just have to kind of test which works best. Hopefully maybe sanding will get rid of a lot of it. Just some priming and sanding a few times might fill it in. And uh, another thing on Red October, some of this is, this may have to change the uh, conning tower is another big deal on uh, Red October. You don't have this... Uh, I guess this is a walkway to walk around the calling tower where this sticks out. This is all smooth here on Red October. And uh, this isn't quite as rounded. It's more of a slope. Which that might not be a big deal to do. We might can do that with some putty and stuff. Maybe sand this down to get, to get the thickness down a little bit through the middle and just mold it from the conning tower down to here and maybe get rid of this. And, um, Another thing with the Red October, this whole deal back here is different. Uh, they have two rudder fins behind each prop on this version, and the, the Red October just has one uh, one little pitch fin right here. So a lot of this stuff will go probably. Uh, if it gets too crazy, we may just unshroud the props that are on here and kind of modify it a little to look more like Red October. We'll have to see how it goes. Anyway, I'm rambling on just that. Let's get through the kit. <laughs> uh, you got your, your bottom hole. Same deal with the tile detail on this. I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but it's got a lot of tiling detail. And you've got um, markings for where your bilge keels go on. And uh, I'm assuming there are limber holes for the hull. There's a lot of those little rectangles. We'll maybe open a lot of those up. There's a couple places we might not, but we'll try and open some of them up. And uh, a lot of the kit is uh, these doubled up sprues here, which are basically all your missile tube assemblies. Um, I'm guessing maybe they're there for just looks to open. maybe have the old doors are open or closed for the missile launchers. But um, if I could avoid building all these guys, I might, you know, and, and just not do it because I'm not planning on having the missile doors open and closed or have them open. I want it all closed, everything sealed up. 
and the last sprue which I said there's not a lot to just give basically your uh, let's see let's pull them out see a little better is uh, your conning tower over here and you got some of your your fins and stuff that go on the rear and your bow planes there's uh, looks like there's an option for the conning tower that they have in here where you can have the periscopes up or you can have everything closed off and we've got a little plate that goes in the bottom of our hole and the bilge keels here and here's some of your periscope details over here and we got you know, a neato pair of props in here and some other fins that go on the rear and uh, speaking of props let's see let's get this back in here real quick as possible a little fidgety but good uh, about the props this thing comes with a photo I set of props and a couple of little antenna details that go up on the conning tower um, Red October has got some really weird looking props uh, I've got to do a count of the blades uh, I believe the Red October is either five or six blades so we'll have to I'll check this out see if maybe we can mod these or the kit ones into something that looks more like red October probably probably these if I possibly can so we can use the photo edge and we, of course we got a little base in here which is just nothing fancy I, there may be some decals of the name of the sub to go on there I'm not real sure but I'm not really caring about that because it's not going to be a stock typhoon and we got our little uh, decal sheet in here which I'm not real sure right off what's on there. Probably some, you know, your basic stuff. I see some radioactive warnings probably that go on uh, where the reactor cores are in this thing. And some uh, water line markings and whatnot. So basically, that's, that's the kit that we're going to be working off to try and do this Red October. And like I said, there's a few other mods that are going to have to get done uh, from the the front end of the hole on Red October, uh, we got uh, openings for the Caterpillar silent drive that was in it. And back here somewhere around the rear on the uh, lower hole, we have the exit ports for the Caterpillar drive, which uh, if I'm, I might do this, I might not. Uh, in the movie, I remember when they opened up, uh, it had kind of this weird, eerie, clean, green looking glow in there. We might put some kind of light in there for that, maybe. I don't know, maybe something up on the conning tower we'll have to see how that goes if we leave the missile tubes out it's definitely a wide open option for putting any kind of light in here you can see by the hull it's pretty open in there and uh like i said in the rear on red october um actually I'll, if i get really into it a lot of this goes these fins would get cut off here these shrouds would go and you'd be basically left with this and kind of fill this in to match this when this is gone from from this part of the hole to this part of the hole on the slope and it looks like it has like a prop shaft with a straight wing coming out on the red october so we'll have to see what we can come up with there and the conning tower i don't think doing the stuff for the caterpillar drive details is going to be a, a huge deal and um the other thing, before I forget right off, uh, the uh, the upper fin on the upper hull, like the vertical fin on uh, Red October, has like a little bullet shaped toad sonar array. So we got to kind of come up with something there too for that to kind of simulate that. And I'm kind of thinking about looking on Shapeway, see if I can find something there. I kind of saw one thing already, which was a, a torpedo which might work out now that I have the kit I can take a measurement on the back fin there and see if we can maybe use that guy for, for doing that but anyway I guess that's about it for a look at the, the Hobby Ball 350 scale Typhoon class sub and that's what we're going to work with to try and see if we can pull off some kind of a tribute to Red October so I guess for now that's it until the next date would update whatever that may be it'll probably maybe be either um, an update on the red wagon um, I've also pretty much got my buddy Baker car done it's together finally that's been a, one of those dragon builds 
uh, <laughs> it just it keeps getting left behind so I finally kind of slammed her up together and we're going to nitpick it a little bit and probably some time over the weekend I'm hoping we'll get a slide show up for the final of that so you can kind of see what that came out look like and uh uh, I don't know, I won't say yet what's up with the next Red Wagon update. We've been kind of messing with it. You know, I got some stuff done, so we'll, we'll go over that on that when we get there. Anyway, before I talk too much and the video gets too long, um, anything else? Mm. Oh, yeah. I want to say, I uh, got a you know, shout out. Uh, Charlie Mack sent me out one of his shop cards. Uh, I just sent his out today, so. Charlie, you'll be getting a card soon. And uh, Big Eddie, if you're watching, I believe it was you that I, that I emailed about an address for shop cards. So uh, you, you had said you wanted to swap cards with me, so I'll get you out of email. Just give me an address, and uh, I gave you mine, and uh, I'll get a card out to you as soon as I can. Anyway, like I said, stop rambling. In the video. See you guys next update. Take it easy.